couple of minutes, so um, maybe we'll just do a little singing before we, uh, as we're waiting. Um, here's my pick. See what else do we sing? How about um This was just in last week's Torah portion. Jacob Spike Krause, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I hope everyone's uh, maybe been getting to know their neighbors a little better. I have found that in the absence of uh, getting to see coworkers every day, I have really enjoyed getting to just chat with some neighbors. Um, and uh, we are just here at nine o'clock, so uh, welcome everyone. Maybe we'll get started. And uh, so nice to see all of you here with us this morning. And we're going to start with some singing, we'll do a little singing, a little praying. Enjoy this time together. And I hope you'll echo me at home and just imagine everyone singing with you.
Emily's take us away for some Boker Tov. When I say Boker Tov, everybody say Boker Or. Boker Or. When I say Boker Tov, everybody say Boker Or. Boker Or. Everybody ready? Thumbs up. Everybody ready? Hands in the air. Everybody ready? Wave them around. Boker Tov. Boker Or. Boker Tov, everybody. So good to see your faces. I'm so glad that you're with us to welcome this beautiful day to be together for a little bit of singing, a little bit of learning, a little bit of praying. It's a great way to start our day. I'm so happy that we're together here, even if we're not together in person. I hope you're wearing something comfy and you're near people who love you um, and you're in a really safe, happy, comfy place as we begin our morning this morning with a little bit of blessings. Oh, I'm starting. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam For knowing the difference between day and night Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam For opening our eyes Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam for giving us the ability to stretch. And how good that feels on a Sunday morning. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. For giving us the ability to lakum, to rise. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. For giving us firm ground to stand on. Feel those strong floors beneath your feet. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam for giving us the ability to move. And fill your whole square with movement. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam for giving us these clothes. I particularly love my undies for everyone t-shirt. This is an awesome organization. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam for giving us strength. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam for giving us the ability to la shevet, to sit down. And now it's time to share our own miracles this morning. So um, if you want to add to the chat, what you're thankful for. It's always a good practice to just remember your blessings, even if they're small blessings. Rabbi, what are you thankful for this morning while we're waiting for some to come in? I am thankful for the sound of uh, my dogs running through the house because it reminds me that we've got little creatures in our house that we love and that love us. Every time I hear their little nails clicking on the floors, I feel a little thankful to have my pets in my life. I love that. Amen. And we have help family, beautiful weather with exclamation points from the Rose Boys and Marlene says a beautiful day, which it so is. Let's enjoy this beautiful weather, having food, having a house and necessities, having a puppy and puppy playtime. Yes, pets feel really good these days. My cat George, family. I have to say I am really thankful that I'm having a youth choir hangout today after, um, after our dance um, after Tefila at 10, and I'm really looking forward to that and thankful for all of those people that I miss so much. For fluffy beds, for life, for Zoom, yes, even though it maybe drives us crazy, we're grateful that it allows us to connect. My dog lifting my spirits, coffee, peace. These are so, Sunday school from B, thanks B. Awesome. Well, keep thinking about these blessings all day long. It's a great practice if you're feeling a little down. I sometimes have some down moments, particularly like in the late afternoon, I start to feel a little heavy. And so it's good to just maybe remember, like, tell me five, Rabbi Fixler says, think of five things you're grateful for. And it usually helps me feel better. So we, for all of those blessings, we say, Amen. And now we are going to get ready for a little bar -hu. And so before Doug takes us away with some barhu, we're going to get ready with a little barhu in the house. You ready to wrap, Rabbi? Always. Always. I woke up ready. Perfect. <laughs> I said ho. I said hey. I said are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Let's come together to pray. Listen. Let's come together.
together to pray. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is how we make a minion. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is how we make a minion. I said, hey, I said you. Now let's all stand up for bar who. I said, hey, I said you. Now let's all stand up for bar who. All right, good morning, right. everybody. So is everybody standing up? Everybody wave so I know you're awake. Because I'm fixing to ask you about being awake. Okie doke, looks like everybody's awake. So I'm barely awake, but I'm going to do my best. Ya la 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 Ya 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 la 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 my voice can you understand am i awake am i prepared yeah, la, 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 la. Thank you for bringing us into our prayer this morning. Before we go into Shema, there is always a, a moment in our prayer service when we take just a second to think about how grateful we are for nature. Uh, in the morning, we say a prayer that thanks God for creating light and darkness. And it helps remind us that every time we see the sun, every time we see the moon, every time we enjoy watching the sun come up and the sun go down, we remember that we are part of something really big and really beautiful. Everything in nature, the sun, the stars, the sky, all of them are evidence that God wanted the world to be a place where all of us could live and be safe and healthy. And every day as the seasons change, as it gets a little warmer or a little bit colder, we remember that there is this great, big, beautiful system that keeps spinning and keeps working day after day and season after season. Baruch atah Adonai, Yotzer HaMorot, we praise you Adonai, maker of all the great lights in the sky. Amen. Now we'll take a moment to say the Shema. And if you know the sign language, I'd love to see you follow, joining with me in that because I can see you and I would love to see that. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad And to sing now what Emily just chanted so beautifully for us, a little rise up. So if you, um, you can, we usually sit down after we finish with our Shema. 
But um, get ready to either just put your hands up or stand up for when we get to that rise up part each time. Here we go. chills to see all of you that was just really special and so now we're going to continue with that energy as we sing our Micha Mocha prayer that prayer that the Israelites sang after escaping Egypt and uh, just kind of knowing that they were there I in that movie the Prince of Egypt when the Israelites stand in those multitudes there were so many of them and just looking around and just seeing this all of your squares on my screen is just reminding me of our multitudes and how important we are as a community so here we go let's think of that as we rock out on this miha mocha together who is like you adonai who is like you really did rock out on that one i just i couldn't help it that was so good i think i saw some people bouncing on their beds and their couches while you were singing that one that's something you can't do in the chapel so that's <laughs> you can't jump on the bed in the chapel <laughs> <laughs> well everybody i'm really happy to see you i want to share a little story with you this morning it's a very short story but um and a quite a well-known one but it um it seems to me that it's a story that applies very well to our lives today and the story goes like this. Once upon a time, there were two friends 
and they decided that they wanted to have a day out in nature. So they took a boat and they put it on the lake and they got into the boat and they were paddling around the lake and it was beautiful. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, the words were blowing, the wind was blowing and both friends were sitting in their end of the boat just enjoying nature. All of a sudden, one of the friends feels something strange around his feet and he looks down and he sees that there is water coming into the boat and the boat is starting to sink. And he freaks out, he gets totally nervous. He starts trying to scoop the water out of the boat and to try to splash it out and try to, and he doesn't know what to do because the boat is slowly sinking and water is slowly coming into the boat. And he turns to his friend and he says, buddy, you gotta help me. And no sooner does he turn to his friend, but he sees that his friend is on the bottom of the boat holding a drill. And his friend is drilling a hole in the bottom of the boat. And that is where all of the water is coming in. And the first friend says, what are you doing? What in the world do you think you're doing? You're drawing a hole in the boat. That's where all this water is coming from. The boat's going to sink. We're going to drown. What's going on? And his friend says very calmly, buddy, what are you so worried about? I'm only drilling the hole in my end of the boat. So it reminds us that all of us, so to speak, are all in the same boat. And when one of us does something that affects someone else, all of us get affected by our choices. So when we make really good choices about staying healthy, washing our hands and being careful about where we go, being really thoughtful about taking care of our health, that affects all the people around us, the people in our family, the people in our community, the people in our city, all of our choices affect all the other people around us. And in the same way, when we make really good choices about our homes, when we keep ourselves clean and eat healthy food and take care of our bodies, the things that we do affect all the people around us too. So I hope that this week and this month and for the rest of this year, when things are so strange, all of us will remember to be really thoughtful and careful about the choices we make because all of us, my friends, are in the same boat. I just wanted to show that Canner Simmons isn't the only one that can rock out. That is true. I was uh, I was just having a dance party over here. I love you that. were rocking, Doug. That was great. <laughs> so a few announcements this morning before we um, sing some closing music. So uh, today, following Tefila, we have Israeli dance with Miss Ellie, which sounds awesome. Um, and then just keep in mind that our Health Minute Home videos from all of our amazing teachers, it is so awesome to see them, are on Facebook and U YouTube every weekday at 2 p.m. 
Um, and if you want to go back and see the ones that have already been posted, there's just so much awesome stuff out there from all of our amazing teachers. And I'm really excited. Do you want to announce this, Stephanie? I feel like you should announce this. So, yes, I would love to announce this. I am so excited. So we have had so many amazing Health Minute at Home videos that we decided that we need to have an award ceremony. So be on the lookout in this Tuesday's Health Minute Herald for the Health Minute Religious School Students' Choice Awards ballot so that you can vote on your favorite Health Minute at Home videos. And then on Sunday, May 17th, so two weeks from today, on Sunday, May 17th, we are going to award our healthies, our healthy awards, during our Sunday morning tefillah and ceremony. We are so excited and we cannot wait for our, our healthy award ceremony. And we hope that you will join us by, by voting for your favorite videos. I love that. That is so awesome. You guys are so creative. Um, and so we will be on the Zoom link um, on Sunday. So we'll be here next Sunday. Um, it's Mother's Day, but we'll still be here for a little get you in the Mother's Day mood to Fila. Um, and Wednesdays at 430. And I just wanted to mention one more time um, that the Youth Choir Hangout is happening at 10 today. And um, if you're in the Youth Choir, you should have received an email about that. Um, if you didn't, you can put it in the chat and I'll make sure you get it. But we would love, I would love to see you um, and uh, just connect because I miss meeting with you. All right. Well, it was um, Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israeli Independence Day, just this past week. And so in honor of that, we have our Israeli dancing coming up in a minute. But first, we're going to sing a little Am Yisrael Chai. And so every time we get to Oda Vinu Chai, you got to put your hand up or jump in the air, something exciting when that part happens. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael. for one more song and I was just gonna um sing a little David Melech because I just feel like I'm in the mood for that one and um there's a verse that Stephanie taught me Stephanie will you sing the song with me will you be the echo I would love to be the echo all right here we go so we start off everybody remember these moves do we need let's just review them if we forget so we we hit our knees twice for David David then we clap Okay, then we go like this. Then we go like this. Then we go like this. All right, so it, it happens a bunch of times. Just do your best, just have fun. So here, we, let's try that again. Ready, here we go. Let me just make, go back a little bit. David, Melech Israel, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David, Melech Israel, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David Melech Yisrael, hi, hi, Vikai. Let's do that again. David Melech Yisrael, hi, hi, Vikayam. David Melech Yisrael, hi, hi, Vikayam. David Melech Yisrael, hi, hi, Vikayam. Shh, 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 shh. Now I'm going to say a word and you're going to sing the uh, another word, kind of its opposite. And so Stephanie's going to help you. And so when I say the word for dad, which is Abba, you're going to say the word for mom, which you all know is 
Ima. Imagining you yelling that exactly. All right, so here we go. Abba. Ima. Ima. Abba. Ima Abba. Abba Ima. Abba Ima. Ima Abba. Ima Abba Abba Ima. Abba Ima Ima Abba. David Melech Israel. Hi hi Vikayam. David Melech Israel. Hi hi Vikayam. David Melech Israel. Hi hi Vikayam. Shh. Shh. Now I'm gonna sing the word for yes in Hebrew is Kane. And then you're gonna sing the word for no, which in Hebrew is Lo. So I sing Kane. Lo. Lo. Kane. Kane Lo. Lo Kane. Lo Kane. Kane Lo. Kane Lo Kane Lo. Lo Kane Lo Kane. I, people do more than that, but it's too hard for me. Davi, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, I think, Stephanie, you have to start this one, and I'll echo you, your favorite one. Okay, so in Hebrew, the word for watermelon is Avatiach. Avatiach. And the word for cherry, because we thought of what, what's the opposite of a watermelon? The biggest fruit we can think of, so the smallest fruit we can think of, a cherry is a duvdevan. Duvdevan. Avatiach. Duvdevan. Duvdevan. Avatiach. Avatiach duvdevan. An avatiach. Avatiach, avatiach, dubdavan, dubdavan. Rabbi. <laughs> dubdavan, avatiach, something, something, something. David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. Really fast. David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, Chai, Vikayam. Yay! We wish everyone a Boker Tov. Thank you, Stephanie. That was awesome. And, um, and I'm going to turn it over to Stephanie to introduce what's happening next.